What's up BOSUs, let's go over the new mountain minions and quality of lives coming to patch 6.3. These new quality of life specifically affect a lot of players and it's going to make it a lot easier for everyone. Let me break through that like button down below to show support for the channel. Let's first talk about minions. The first minion being added is a corgi with a bandana. They even got the little corgi legs. Definitely going to be a minion main and how it runs. Oh, be still my heart. The next minion is going to be a water dragon of some kind. It is nice and I really do like the floating minions as I feel like they're more noticeable and easier to take G poses with. The next minion is a little train, which is 9 out of 10. I love that design and it's almost as big as Yoshi P's Lala. There will be a Loperitz minion added in from the new tribal quest. I'm assuming that is where you're going to get this reward from. For those who have a special love for Loperitz, this is going to be the minion for you. There is also kind of a Tron looking minion, Mandragora. Lastly, there is a floating ghost, which is going to be great for all the goth and dark G posers out there. I really like the array of minions that they have added to the game. Moving on to mounts, we have new mounts from treasure mounts, I'm assuming, as it looks very colorful. It is an elephant wearing a bun mask on its head, which to be honest, I didn't know it was an elephant. I just thought it was like a deformed treasure monster. The treasure map minions tend to be a little interesting and out of the box looking. We have a mechanical floating rabbit mount that turns into a plane when you jump. I think this is a new tribal quest minion, which I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Let me know what you think. I'm a little underwhelmed by it, but it does have kind of a cool old style plane feel to it, so it might turn out good. I also feel like they purposely have Yoshi P use these minions because they always look cuter when Lala's are flying them. They are adding a new minion to the Gil roster, which you can purchase this gold Karakol mount that they started doing in earlier expansions. The last few go for like 10 or 25 million Gil, so I'm assuming this will cost you just as much. So Gillionaires, you can show off your financial prowess in game by buying this day one. We have another gold looking mount and this is the flying machine monkey mount, but I think this is going to be for MGP instead. Still costly though, probably. It does look pretty cool though and the way it flies with its hand out when it's moving cracks me up. Now going down under, we're getting a crocodile mount that I'm actually incredibly excited for. It's so simple, but it's so adorable and I love the way crocodiles run and move and the sound it kind of makes if you had listened to the live letter is actually kind of funny too. We are getting some type of Dalaman type mount or Allegan node. It will be green though, which I am not the biggest fan of green myself, but it will stick out amongst other mounts because I think of the color. And lastly, whatever this mount is, I'm not quite sure. It kind of looks like whale-esque, but more of a blimp of some kind. If any of you have any idea where this is from, please let me know down below in the comment sections. Maybe it holds multiple people. That would be great. Let's talk about the new quality of life updates coming. There are quite a few worth mentioning that are going to affect most players. Firstly, we're getting a new UI theme. We had a gray and that kind of bright blue, and now we're getting a clear blue theme as a third, which they did mention will be able to change colors in the future. So then you can kind of adjust it to how you want. Portraits will now display when using duty finder. So when queuing and you can see your party members portraits, more of a reason to work on your adventure plates now. Expansion of available titty, <laughs> I mean, activities. Not titties, but well, they're kind of expanding titties too. <laughs> this is totally going to say in the video from editing Bud Boss. Like I was saying, expansion of available activities using fashion accessories that include being able to use them on mounts, which is going to expand our G posing capability, which is incredibly exciting for those of us who live through G pose. There are some really good retainer changes coming. We can now cast glamour and dye retainer gear without having to remove it, which was such a hassle that I never bothered to do it in the first place. But now we'll have a much easier time changing things up without having to remove every piece of gear to change the outfit. As far as the retainer inventory, they're making it to where if you have that item already in your retainer inventory, and then you also have that item in your regular character inventory, you'll be able to automatically put all of the multiples of that item into the retainer without having to manually click on them. You'll just be able to click a button and it will pick up all the multiples in your character inventory and put them all into your retainer inventory, which is actually pretty awesome because I am a crafter and gatherer main and I'm always having multiples of materials in my inventory. This is an absolute silly update that no one asked for, but I think everyone's going to love. 
when it rains in Final Fantasy 14, you're going to be able to turn on a setting that will automatically take out an umbrella. I don't know why this tickles me pink, but I'm actually really excited about this. I hope they add in more umbrellas for us to choose from. They eventually will add this for snow, maybe, but definitely for rain in 6.3. I can't wait to see all the umbrellas we're going to see in Limsa Lamenza. Let me know what mounts you guys are going for down below. And of course, if you want to catch the full live letter recap, you can find that at the end of this video. Or if you want to watch other Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.